Hello and welcome to this week's Ethnosociology Lecture by Professor Alexander Dugan, the head of the Department of International Relations of the Sociology Faculty and the chair of the Center for Conservative Research at Moscow State University. This week's lecture will focus on the Russian School of Ethnosociology. Professor Dugan? Thanks. So, Today we, uh, we are going to discuss uh, the Russian School of Ethnosociology. Uh, the founder of this school is a uh, Russian scientist of uh, 20th uh, century, uh, Sergei Shirokogorov. Uh, he was uh, first to introduce uh, the concept of ethnicity or ethnos uh, in Russian science. He is regarded as a, found, a founder of uh, Russian ethno ethnology, but uh, he uh, always also stressed the importance of social aspect of ethnicity. Uh, he has given uh, the definition of ethnos that we are dealing uh, with in our course. So, I would like to remind uh, Shirokogorov's definition of ethnos. Uh, ethnos or ethnicity is a group of people speaking the same language recognizing their common origin and having complex customs, ways of life stored and illuminated and transmitted by tradition and different from the customs of other groups. So uh, we, uh, we see that mm, it is a kind of mm, sociological approach to, uh, uh, to the ethnos. The one thing, only one thing that uh, should be uh, discussed uh, specially is a common origin. And what is important that Shirokogorov recognizes that this common origin is a kind of social representation that is not common origin in fact but it is a kind of the belief in a common origin so sociological uh, category ethnos is open social group and there are many uh, uh, rituals that served to the ethnical group to accept the representatives of the other ethnic group. In this case, uh, the individual that wanted to be accepted in the, these ethnic community should not only enter in the, in the present uh, in this community, but also uh, he was obliged to recognize that the fathers of this ethnic group were his own fathers. So it was a, a kind to accept the common past, uh, common origin. And being the social category, it was thought as something very possible because uh, uh, the, uh, the fact to belong to such or such ethnical clan, family or group was considered to be um, a kind of belonging to some totem, to accept some affinity to a uh, concrete totem or sub-totem, as Marcel Moss called that. So, uh, the individual was um, considered to be a part of a uh, personality that uh, had 
the social dimension, the person, the concept of person was a concept of social identity given by the society or uh, and course of some religious sacred ritual or given by the society in, uh, in the process of initiation or, or adoption. So the person that was not individual, that was a social construct, for example, the totem. And if you recognize as uh, a source or as, as your person and the source of your uh, life, a certain totem, for example, uh, red uh, papagai, uh, as in the case of some ethnic groups in, uh, among the Indians. So you are considered to be in some kind of this red papagai uh, because it represents uh, your personality. And that represents your personality in the present, in the future, but also in the past. Because the past was considered to be uh, one of the, of the dimension of the eternal structure. So the uh, common origin was a kind of sociological construction uh, that formed important part of personality. So with this, we could affirm that uh, in the ethnical groups, uh, the individual could, in some limit cases, to choose the past, its own past, to choose its origin in conformity with the demands of such or such social group, because it was not fixed, this co uh, concept of origin. It was more or less interchangeable, and you could lose this uh, belonging, uh, belongingness to the common origin, or obtain that. That is very important. The other uh, important point uh, in definition of ethnos or ethnicity uh, was the fact that Shira Kagorov highlighted another sign of fundamental sign of uh, belonging to the, these concrete ethnic group, endogamy. That uh, is a legitimate opportunity to marry uh, within the same group. So, uh, uh, the, the concept of ethnos in this way is something more than uh, a clan of uh, a fratry. fratry. Uh, so, it was a kind of uh, uh, the concept of the society where you needed to have two parts that should be exogamic and uh, that, that should be, um, that they should give the possibility to find uh, a bride from the clan, from the social group considered to be other in front of this concrete group. And the ethnic group should englobe, include both parts, creating uh, thus uh, endogamic unity. That endogamic unity that signifies that ethnos should have at least two exogamous clans or social group uh, to give to the ethnic society the possibility to have legitimate marriage inside and not outside of, of that. So many myths, many legends were dedicated precisely to define uh, this, uh, this 
correct, the con this concept of correct marriage, the marriage that is legitim legitimate in any sense, it should not be too far or too near. Because to, if it is too near, uh, it falls in the, in the realm of the same, the same group. So it is a kind of incest. But the interdiction, strict interdiction of the incest, ancestral uh, connections was the basis, sociological basis of um, all existing culture in the world. Human society as such is based, is constructed on the primordial uh, social fact, the interdiction of incest, ancestral relations. Uh, and that so, so, uh, socially, sociologically demands the definition of what is the same, uh, uh, the same um, family and what is the other family. So that is a kind of same family, same family is not biological concept. It is the con social, sociological concept. Because in different kind of society, uh, the lineage uh, is considered to be uh, as belonging to this family by different uh, criteria. Uh, for example, there are uh, maternal kind of lineage and paternal paternal catch, uh, kind of lineage. So uh, uh, that was a, a social established norm that defined we, in which case, in which society, in which ethnic uh, group, uh, what is considered to be the same family or the other family. And the very strict set of rules and norms defined the possibility of marriage. So the ethnic group or ethnos is precisely uh, the group, social group that have, that has in itself both uh, clans or both uh, type of families. The families that are considered to be the same and the family that are considered to be other. So it gives the possibility to have marriage, legitimate marriage in, uh, in the limits of the same ethnos and it shouldn't be in the same family. So many myths started by uh, different searchers and uh, also by Shira Kagorov. Uh, himself, he was the specialist in the uh, Evenki tribes of uh, Eastern Siberia. Uh, and uh, he studied uh, uh, closely these tribes. And uh, also he has uh, uh, he has found many forms of social myths that, uh, uh, that gave the, um, the uh, necessary uh, explication to um, the concept of this endogamic basis of the marriage as fundamental aspect for definition of ethnos as a social group. So uh, this me, these myths uh, were destined to define what is uh, legitimate, what is acceptable and what is abnormal. Uh, so uh, uh, so uh, these myths, for example, uh, featured uh, the bad consequences that, uh, that are um, inevitable for ancestral, ancestral marriages. For example, if you find in some narrative 
uh, that begins with there were once upon a time there was uh, the brother and the sister. It is very possible, very probable uh, that that will end uh, badly this story because the brother and the sister are considered to be virtually uh, the figures of ancestral relations. So, uh, and the story was uh, used to describe how fatal and negative this too close marriage will would cause if it will be concluded at the same time uh, uh, the, there are the, uh, the stories concerning concerning too far marriage uh, for example uh, in this case that was the idea of uh, of the marriage between uh, human girl for example with animals with bear or with Drago, or uh, with some uh, some fantastic creature uh, that uh, also uh, is regarded as something abnormal. So uh, this kind of myths served to define what is ethnos as uh, endogamous collectivity formed by two exogamic, exogamous parts. So it was very important because this conceptual attitude of the and understanding of the ethnos contradicts to the Aristotle's concept of the society as development of the family. And the complex sophisticated society, we see only family as the basis of the society. And we could regard it, the family as the um, paradigm, paradigms, paradigm of society. And we could regard it, uh, we could regard, we could regard uh, society as uh, greatest paradigm for family. But in the ethno-sociological field, there is not so. Uh, the uh, primordial, simplest form of society is not a family, but it is two families, two exogamous families living together and stressing always, always the belonging the fact to belong to the same same family, to reaffirm its identity through ages and generations, but at the same time, to uh, with the possibility to distinguish by the rights, by the cultural attitudes, by the customs, uh, and many other instruments, the other family that is considered to be other, uh, but at the same time, these other family belongs to the same community because it is the source of legitimate marriages. So that is a kind of two families, but that changed absolutely all picture of the society. If the society is based on the concept of uh, ethnogamic two-family pattern that is a kind of society that does not need the external uh, external regulation it could regulate itself this kind of society because uh, with these two families two families pattern there uh, there is no need to go of government no need of uh, social uh, stratification, no need of power. That is a kind of balanced society 
that could proceed in this way eternally. And uh, because there is always the balance of given and received, there is circulation of gifts and uh, the women of exogamous parts of one and the same as no gamos group that is precisely ethnos is considered to be eternal pattern of of uh, of uh, with zero as uh, zero sum sum game a, a kind of zero sum game you leave but you uh, always the same uh, uh, repeats itself is a kind of eternal return uh, sufficient at the basic or basis uh, of this uh, two-part so society is sufficient to proceed so eternally because there are no 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 reasons to uh, to of, of progress of accumulation of innovation of modernization there is no reason to install uh, the, the um, power structure so the atness considered to be half part and the gamers with two included at least two exogamous groups it's a kind of new uh, object of study that is in the center of ethno sociological uh, discipline and it is very important that with these two um, uh, de uh, two definitions of ethnos we have thanks to Sherakagorov Sergei Sherakagorov the, the object of uh, our discipline of ethno sociology uh, so um, Sherakagorov also introduced in the ethnology and ethno-sociology the concept of social organization of ethnos. Uh, that uh, Sherakagorov defines uh, as, as social organization of the society a set of ethnographic elements that regulate the functioning of society as permanent conglomerate of people forming in turn a set of spe specific internal balance enabling the ethnic unity or ethnos to reproduce to conserve the economic system material culture uh, intellectual and mental activity uh, that is to ensure the continuity of ethnic identity in its integrity in. so that uh, is uh, important that uh, in this definition of social organization of ethnos or ethno-social organization uh, these functions uh, are um, orientated to one goal to keep the social identity of ethnic group permanent to keep it always equal to itself to conserve this um, uh, ethnical identity through sets of specific speci specific uh, proced procedures and mental activity and material material culture and economic system all that play an important part in accomplishing this very goal to keep uh, the ethnos as it is as it was and as it should be in the future so the ethno social social organization is uh, defined by very important concept to keep the same without any changes also we are dealing with zero sum game 
So there are some game in this uh, in this uh, sense represents very important idea of the very profound reason of the profound reason of social ethno-social organization. This reason is to keep the same, always the same, all activity, all changes, all, mm, uh, all uh, efforts uh, in the society and cultural, economical and material activity is organized, uh, are organized in the sense to keep the same. So, to keep the same, social organization as reproduction, the, the sense of the social, ethno-social uh, organization is the reproduction of the same. It is very important because these um, uh, this uh, ethno-sociological organization oriented to eternal reproduction tries to avoid two things. First, uh, decadence, a kind of, uh, of uh, danger to lose something. So, uh, one of the problem uh, of functioning of this social organization is to conserve, to conserve uh, the practices, to conserve the rituals, to conserve the social structure as it is, as it was, and as it should be in the future. To conserve the same. But uh, it, it is clear that in the reality we are dealing with entropy of some or different kind and uh, society could uh, forgot something, could lose something, uh, there could be some uh, circumstances that oblige to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to put aside some uh, rights or some material or spiritual or cultural practices. And in this sense, ethnos is in eternal struggle against this possibility of entropy. So, the ethnical life is a life of conservation of the same. And that is not uh, so easy as it could be seen from our sophisticated, complex society. Because uh, we cannot understand that uh, the conservation of the same could be the goal. We are habituated to, to think, to reason in the terms of progress, of development, of the new. But eth we can, could not understand what ethnos is if, if uh, not, we don't uh, don't uh, accept uh, these um, different ethos of some kind that to conserve is the, uh, the same is the main concern main concern of the ethnic life so uh, ethnos live not only to in order to survive it lives in order to conserve not to survive biologically, but to conserve the sameness of ethnical structure in all possible senses, in material, economic, rituals, cultural, linguistic, and also material and spiritual. So it is a kind of all compassed conservation that is main concern of ethnic group but there is the other goal the other concern of social ethno social organization according to Sharakagorov it is uh, 
uh, also very difficult to us to understand the second part of this organization is d directed against the new, against apparition of the new, against um, uh, accumulation of the uh, goods, of uh, against uh, um, uh, any kind of acquisition that uh, is not necessary or not uh, habitual, not, uh, not something new. So what uh, that has not the place and the context of ethnic, ethno-sociological organization today or the, that ha had not in the past cannot ch have not the chances to be accepted, to be recognized, to be used and to be appreciated. So, struggling for conserving, for conservation of the same, ethnic group or ethnos struggles also against new. It struggles against the, uh, the loss and against acquisition. Ethnos should not lose anything and should not acquire anything. That is the sense of ethnic life and that is the end of ethno-social organization according to Shorokagorov. It's very important because that uh, uh, that is the reason of many uh, functions of uh, rights, of the myths, of the um, customs in the ethnic um, ethnic group. So the ethnos insists on its immutable identity that. Uh, could be endangered by the loss and by the acquisition of something new. It's very important and that is the sense of reproduction, not production, not loss, reproduction of the same. And uh, uh, that is a kind of the nature that reproduces uh, every year the same seasons, but always these very seasons uh, are different in some details. Uh, there are uh, there are different uh, weather and differences in uh, the rhythms and the events of natural also events in such or such season, but. The autumn is always the autumn, the uh, summer is always the summer, and so on. But we regard nature as something that makes this uh, eternal return of the season by itself. But not that is the case of the ethnic group, because the ethnos considers uh, this eternal return as a kind of practice where the full participation of the man is badly needed. So without repetition of some rituals, of some sacred ceremonies, uh, the summer will not come, will not come. There will, be, will not come also the night or day, without implication of the man, of the society. And so, uh, uh, the difference between nature and culture didn't, di doesn't exist in the ethnos. And in order to spring to come, the society, ethnic society, should produce some 
rituals should think uh, or should wait for the spring uh, without this expectation of the spring the spring will not come so it is very important that to reproduce the same you need to pay to pay your life to pay your efforts your material and spiritual activity dedicate to this eternal return of the of the same so it is a kind of uh, uh, of uh, con uh, conception of uh, Sherakagorov. So uh, uh, th there was um, a kind of formula, formula of, of proposed uh, uh, by Sherakagorov as a kind of uh, law of balance of cultures uh, that is that uh, the, uh, the, 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 this concept of Shurikagorov uh, insists that the number of the people in one ethnic group uh, if we divide it on uh, um, the cultural level and on the land area uh, occupied by this group is a constant a constant a constant uh, so to in order to live on the same territory for um, greater number of the representatives of the same ethnic group it needs to develop its uh, level of culture or to expand the territory. That is uh, a very practical and studying of uh, et uh, ethnic, uh, ethnic group and that could be also regarded as a possible, um, uh, possible reason of uh, development of the new something new if there is uh, exaggeration acquisition of the quantity of the population that signifies that ethnic balance is hurt badly hurt and to improve that ethnos uh, should also uh, make acquisition of something in correspondence or of the territory or of the level of culture that is a kind of eth ethnic law according to uh, Sharakagorov and uh, that is known as equilibrium theory of cultures or based on ethnic balance factors so uh, Sharakagorov mm, pays great attention to the concept of environment environment for him uh, are divided ethnic environment uh, is divided on two parts uh, natural and social so uh, natural environment is a kind of territory where the atmosphere ethnos leaves and uh, is considered to be the part of ethnic life so this uh, physical or natural environment is considered by ethnos as a part of the society there is no uh, clear border between ethnos itself and nature the nature environment is included in the ethnical concept uh, as uh, well as ethnos is projected on the environment so it is ethnical environment and there is uh, also a natural correspondences and the structure and composition and function 
of the atmosphere itself. But there is the other kind of environment uh, that um, Shorokogorov calls ethnic environment or social environment. That is something else that inclusion of the nature uh, of the physical environment in the context, in the texture of atmosphere. It is a kind of, of challenge to the atmosphere represented by the other atmosphere. So you could meet atmosphere is dealing with two things that it could meet theoretically uh, around it. Or it is included nature, or it, it is the other ethnos. Other ethnos represent a kind of challenge to these ethnos, and is considered as something other in all the senses. It is something that is excluded. So it is very important that nature, well, natural environment, is included in the ethnic, ethnic structure and other ethnos is excluded. So we are dealing with two different kinds of environment. But the border between one ethnos and the other is not also absolutely exclusivist. It could be passed or by, by individual representatives or some families that should be adopted in this ethnos, or it could be regarded as some object that has its legitimate presence in the cultural complex of this very ethnos, but that uh, is alienated by some uh, one or other reason. So that is a very difficult, uh, uh, difficult concept of ethnical, ethnic reasons of war, according to Shorokogorov. So war is also a kind of relation between two distinguished ethnic entities. So the war is a kind of inter-ethnic communication. And the war as ethnic phenomenon could be regarded or as uh, incorporation or assimilation of those who win over those who uh, lose the battle. In this kind, those who have lost the battle, or uh, uh, in such in one or other ma manner, are integrated in this society. So the, the, the war could be the instrument of integration of the other in the same. So there will be, after the war, uh, after uh, the one war, that uh, could be um, the process of integration of the other. Or that could be also a kind of annihilation, annihilation of the other. Because the other is the problem, is conceptual problem for the ethnos. Uh, ethnos is based on the concept of the sameness. So dealing and the nature, as Sharkagorov uh, stressed uh, emphasis, may, making emphasis on that, that nature is not completely other. It is the same. It forms part of the same was majuscular or for atmos. But the other atmos, it's a real problem. So dealing with it, you could or assimilate it in the, in the same, so accepted it. And there are different ways of uh, ethnosociology of the war. For example, that is cannibalist practice. To, to eat the other 
to make it the same. If you eat it, you not only use his force, his powers, his uh, energies, but you assimilate it and you make the other the same. So it is deep reason of cannibalism or ethnosociology of cannibalism. Cannibalism is based on, on the idea that the same should be always triumph the other. And if you eat your enemy, you make him the same as you yourself. Uh, you interiorize him. You make him the part of yourself. So you finish the difference. You overcome the difference between him and you. And that is also positive practice for the ethnical affirmation of the sameness. And that is the explication of uh, humanistic aspects or side of cannibalism. So uh, there is the, the other, uh, other uh, practice. For example, to exterminate the male of uh, the other ethnic group and appropriate uh, uh, the women, female, and to make them the uh, uh, the women of marriage or con concubinate, with also uh, elevating children taken from defeated uh, ethnical group as the same uh, the same children, uh, the, the, the children of these uh, ethnic uh, group that is winner in the ethnic war. So it is a kind of assimilation also. Uh, but these practices are uh, often combined. You uh, assimilate the uh, warriors of males of the other uh, ethnic group by eating them and you assimilate uh, the females, the uh, women, by marrying them and you assimilate the children by elevating them, uh, nurturing them in the context of this ethnos. So there were two ethnic entities that represented gnosiological challenge to each other. And after the ethnic war, there is only one. There is not, not, not problematic. So you could assimilate all of them on different level and reaffirm the same. Reaffirm the same as it is the goal. It is the goal for the all and assimilate it, uh, to uh, accomplishing the uh, most um, uh, the, the greater uh, greatest goal of uh, ethnic uh, uh, ethnically conceived uh, existence. So the, 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 the reason of ethnic existence is precisely to uh, affirm and conserve the same. And in the ethno ethnical environment, there is a kind of challenge because the uh, other ethnos with its inclusivity, with, with its uh, norms, with its uh, nature, with its set of value is considered to be a kind of new because it other, that other that could not be assimilated without some special situation. So, uh, but that also, that uh, doesn't, mm, doesn't uh, encompass all kind of inter-ethnical mm, relations because uh, some ethnic groups could be considered to be the source of the legitimate marriages. That is the other kind of 
uh, inter-ethnic inter relations when they are legitimate other and they give the possibility to, uh, to serve a point of exchange of the uh, legitimate mm, uh, persons to marriage. So, at the same time, uh, the exchange of, of the goods or the symbolical uh, objects could be also the, um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, also the, the practice of this uh, inter-ethnical uh, uh, inter relations. The most important in all that is to conserve the sameness in all with all means possible. So, Shirakagorov also uh, mm, uh, speaks about three kinds of inter-ethnical mm, uh, relations that he calls uh, that commensalism, cooperation, and parasitism. Two ethnical groups uh, could be uh, uh, could live in a form of symbiosis uh, when uh, they uh, don't depend on each other. Commensalism uh, and uh, commensalism is a kind of relations when if uh, the relations stop, their absence. Uh, would not cause uh, any of participants uh, some serious harm. Uh, cooperation, ethnical, ethnic cooperation, as a kind of relation when uh, the interdependence of each ethnic group uh, is so great that if it ceases, so it causes, it, it do cause, uh, some harm to both of the group. For example, uh, uh, when uh, s uh, uh, some ethnic group is mm, concentrated on production of uh, agricultural goods and the other on industrial uh, industrial instrument, uh, if they cooperate, so uh, if they cease to cooperate, both both ethnic group uh, could lose mm, could lose a possibility to survive this other kind and there is the third kind of parasitism of ethnic group where uh, the alliance uh, between two ethnic groups is created so that one of them depends absolutely from the other and uh, in the case of uh, uh, the end, uh, the end of this um, uh, of cooperation, in the case of parasitism, the group of parasites dies, or, and the group that was uh, in a, a relation with it, uh, on the contrary, is freed from some uh, completely uh, unnecessary dependency. Sharkagorov uh, studies uh, this kind on the rich ethnographic material of uh, uh, mostly of uh, uh, Siberian tribes living in the ethnic condition. So. Uh, the other concept of Shirakagorov that influenced much ethnosociologists and uh, above all German ethnosociologists, uh, uh, for example, uh, Wilhelm Müllmann considered the uh, considered Shirakagorov to be his teacher, and considered that uh, Shirakagorov as founder of ethnosociology. The other uh, important uh, point of his teaching, his theory, was psychomental complex. Uh, he has uh, written a book 
uh, published only in English, not in Russian, because he was, Shrekagorov was in the 30, uh, in the migration in the Far East uh, after the revolution in the 20 and 30 and worked there in the China, uh, communicating with European uh, searcher and uh, uh, academical uh, circles. So he has published the book Psycho Mental Complex and Shamanism, studying um, uh, studying um, the um, specific set of uh, attitudes, social, psychological, mental, and cultural, that forms the phenomenon of Siberian shamanism. So he was one of the first explorer of the shamanism as phenomenon. Phenomenon, um, uh, and he was one of the uh, brilliant anthropologists studying this uh, this um, this subject. Uh, so uh, Mircea Eliade, uh, Romanian specialist and the religions, cited in his works and uh, in uh, his main work on shamanism. Uh, shamanism, archaical practices of ecstasy, very much Shorokagorov and basing mostly his own concept of on Shorokagorov's work, psychomental complex. So, uh, psychomental complex of the Tangas. Tangas, Tungus, that was Tangas, uh, Tungus, or, or psychomental complex in by the Tungus or events, that was uh, the book of uh, uh, published in 30, uh, 35, two years before the death of the Sherakagorov. So, uh, important point in studying uh, of this um, psychomental complex that is also called ethnographic complex ethnographic complex, because according to the Sharakagorov, in the shamanism and sacred practices, uh, practices of uh, ecstasy, uh, there were that uh, there was a concentration of the cultural code. He uh, he affirmed that. Uh, the uh, shamanism, the phenomenon of shamanism, could not be reduced to a kind of mental illness. Sharakagorov stressed the point that uh, Evangs or Tungus or other Siberian tribes living in ethnic conditions know very well what is mental illness, and they distinguish this mental ill person, these mental ill persons, from the shaman. The shamans are completely different. They could master, they, they could control their uh, uh, specific ecstatic uh, state. They could provoke them, that could fall on them, and that could Mm, that could uh, quit them by their will. So it wasn't a kind of uncontrolled mental disorder. It was a special, special ritual and special state necessary for, uh, for existence of ethnic community. And the shaman, as the central figure of, of the ethnos, was studied by, uh, by uh, Shirokagorov. Shirokagorov affirms that shaman is central, not because he is chief, not because he is king, not because he is considered to be, uh, to be higher than other members of society, but 
because he is most conservative person in the ethnic group. He conserves. He is healer. So he is dealing with uh, situation of some entropy. So when uh, there is the illness, uh, where is uh, some problem, that, where there is a catastrophe of natural, social, and personal, individual, or collective uh, a character, uh, the shaman should restore it, should improve it, should repair the reality. So, in this, he accomplished central function in the society. Uh, and his mm, psychomental complex is oriented in, uh, for, for this goal, to repair, repair the reality that uh, um, could or uh, could be broken or could be endamaged. So, uh, Shaman uh, also, uh, his rights and the stories and uh, practices and functions, all of, of that is designed to restore the same. Because if, uh, the, uh, for, for example, illness, it is a danger, a risk to lose something. For example, uh, life or uh, physical integrity. So shaman, shaman uh, needs to repair this. And why he is a healer? But he also uh, fight against the evil spirits that could uh, represent danger for uh, the nature, for the society, for the right, uh, right uh, rituals that are necessary, uh, are necessary to accomplish and to transmit to the other generation. Also, the shaman plays very important role in the conception of the fetus. Because and uh, in the uh, and the, um, accompanying the dead to uh, the realm of the fathers, so he is uh, uh, see he is active person in uh, birth and in the death. He helps to the dead to arrive uh, to the land of the uh, first sacred uh, beer fathers by Tungus, uh, Tunguses and uh, to bring from the same land of the uh, beer bear fathers uh, the uh, germ of the newly uh, born person. So he accomplished this cycle of eternal return, conceived as a main sense of the ethnic existence, of ethnic life. So the psychomental complex of uh, Tunguses is precisely this, um, this uh, complex a psychomental complex uh, centered by the shamanism as the main figure in uh, fulfillment, uh, fulfillment of the eternal return and also as agent of this eternal return and not as a chief. Uh, uh, the uh, ethnology, ethnology developed by uh, Sherlock Agorov and his main theory, theories and his uh, uh, and the principles, main principles of uh, his, uh, uh, his uh, doctrine, his study, all of them uh, are uh, foundation, uh, basis, form, basis of actual ethno sociology. He could be considered not only as a uh, distinguished anthropologist, 
anthropologist and sociologist and ethnologist, ethnologist, but also as the founder of ethnosociology, not only Russian, but also German. And the fact that Mürman and Turnwein considered uh, Sherokagorov as a teacher and as a founder of uh, their uh, own discipline, ethnosociology, it uh, is also the uh, it is also valid uh, for uh, this discipline at uh, in whole. So uh, uh, Sherokagorov wasn't uh, accepted as uh, academic uh, academic person in Soviet period, and that was a great damage for damage for uh, Soviet uh, anthropology and ethnology uh, because they w w without Sherokagorov they could not find um, important sources to construct uh, a really relevant science in the field of ethnology and ethno-sociology. Uh, being considered uh, bourgeois, uh, bourgeois or uh, tsarist or not communist and uh, immigrant, uh, he wasn't, uh, uh, he, uh, he didn't play um, a, a part, uh, he didn't play important role in the um, uh, Soviet ethnology and that uh, is, uh, is uh, real problem because um, uh, without that it uh, um, uh, was not capable to uh, to construct some coherent coherent uh, uh, and um, uh, interesting interesting um, discipline. And the second part of uh, this uh, lecture, I would uh, like to speak a little about Lev Gumilov. Uh, that is the other important Russian uh, theorist of ethnosociology. Okay, that finishes the uh, first part of the lecture on Russian ethnosociology on Sergei Shurakagorov. And the next section will concern the uh, famed uh, Soviet era uh, sociologist and ethnosociologist, Lev Gamilov. Mm -hmm.